Hello everyone, welcome back to online social science class. In the last videos, I have taught you geography chapter 3, mineral and power resources. So now this is the time to do question answers, right? Very important part it is, we should, we should learn to frame the answers also. After understanding the concept, what we have to see is how to write the answers. So we will start with the NCRT question answers. And the first question is, name any three common minerals used by you every day. Right, so we have seen different types of minerals and what we are using every day, you can write any mineral which you are using. In that salt is the most common as everybody is using, iron in different forms we are using and gold also is used. So you can write any minerals which you are using at on the daily basis. Now the next question is, what is an ore? Where are ores of metallic minerals generally located? Ores are like you know minerals are taken from the rocks. So ores are again the rocks from which a particular mineral, mineral is mined. Ores are the rocks which are mined to extract the minerals from them. Directly we are not digging and getting a particular mineral. So, uh, so particular rocks are there, they, they are known as ores from which a mineral is extracted. Okay, now this I told you before that minerals are found in different rocks. All the three types of rocks are containing minerals, sedimentary, igneous and metamorphic rocks. And your next question is from where the metallic minerals, the ores of metallic minerals are located. So the metallic minerals, uh, the ores for this metallic minerals are located in, um, mostly they are found in igneous and metamorphic rocks which are very hard. Okay, so this is your question, what is an ore and where the ores of metallic minerals are found. Okay, so let us move to the third question. You have to tell about the two regions. You have to name the regions where, which are rich in natural gas resources. So the major areas where natural gas resources are located are Russia, Norway, UK and Netherlands. In India, it is in Jaisalmer and in Tripura. So these are the regions which are rich in natural gas resources. This we have done in the distribution of resources. Now, we will come to the fourth question. Which sources of energy would you, would you suggest for the following? They are telling about the different areas. You have to tell the most suitable form of energy. In rural areas, in villages, what is more suitable? Solar energy, it is freely available. Biogas as cattle are there and firewood. Okay, in coastal areas, in coastal areas near the water bodies, tidal energy is the best thing where they can use. Wind energy also as it is an open area, wind energy also is good and petroleum. Arid regions, arid means dry areas. So in dry areas, winds are very strong and uh, in the, uh, this dry areas are very hot also. So they can produce geothermal power as well as wind energy and solar energy. So these are the exam different types of energy sources we can follow in different regions. Okay, now the fourth question is, it is actually for you. After going through the videos, after understanding the whole chapter, you will be able to do this. You have to tell that five different ways how you can save energy at home. So better you should write by your own. At uh, you, can, you have experience at home, mother is shouting continuously to switch off the fence. You are leaving the room, right? Or... Uh, what you can do is closing the tap properly, switching off the lights and fans. This is from your side. In kitchen, what we can do is we can use pressure cooker. That is better way of saving energy. And another thing, we should not depend on vehicles for everything. If it is a short distance, we can uh, go by walking or we can use bicycle. We should avoid the use of lift also, refrigerators also. Okay, and the very important thing which I told you under the conservation was the three R's. Reduce, reuse and recycle. So we can reduce the consumption, we can reuse the things which can be used and it can be recycled. In different way it can be used. So these are the different methods we can do to save energy which is must. Now we will come to the give reasons. Okay, after completing question answers we can do give reasons. So here the statement is given, you have to tell the reason why it is so. 
The first one is environmental aspects must be carefully looked into before building huge dams. Government or private also people they are building big dams for the hydel power or for different reasons. Okay, dams are built. So why we have to see the environmental aspects also? Because when they are constructing the dams, the natural flow of water is affected. And what they are doing? They are removing the vegetation. The natural plants or trees are there. So they are removed from there. The wildlife, they are losing their home. It is the habitat for the wildlife. So they are also affected. Along with this, uh, it, they are displacing the people around the areas. So it is a natural hazard. It is not good for the environment when we are affecting the natural vegetation as well as the animal life. So this should be considered before building huge dams. Okay, I hope it is clear. We can come to the next one. The second one is most industries are concentrated around coal mines. Near the coal mines, most of the industries are located near the coal mines. Why? Because coal is the basic input. It's very important. Most of the industries depend on coal as a raw material. And it is very difficult to carry the coal from one place to another. It will increase the cost. They have to pay for the uh, transporting the coal. Right? Even, and, and it is bulky also. It is not easy to be transported. So what they are doing near the coal mines, most of the industries are located so that they can easily get the raw material. Now, the third one is petroleum is referred to as black gold. This also was done. Right? Petroleum because it is black in color. It is a thick black liquid that is why black and gold because it is very valuable. It is very important uh, in the industries as well as its cost. It's costly also because extracting petroleum is not an easy task. It's expensive. So because of the its value and color it is known as black gold. The fourth one is querying can become a major environmental concern, right? Querying is one of the type of mining which is done for extracting the minerals. So when the minerals are extracted, the land it's becoming weak. It can lead to landslide. It can disturb that area. It becomes weak. One and the next thing is when the querying is done, lot of dust particles are coming out. They spread in that area and the people, the miners, especially the miners who are doing this job, they are suffering from different respiratory diseases. They, many problems they face in breathing and all because of this dust and all coming in from inside the earth and it is affecting the vegetation also. So it is another concern for the environment. Now the give reasons are over. We will come to the distinguish between the following. Distinguish like we have discussed about conventional and non-conventional sources. We have discussed about different minerals. So now we will have a comparative study. We will have a dis uh, comparison between the different minerals, different sources. Okay, so the first one is conventional and non-conventional sources. Conventional, what we have studied are the old one, the traditional one, which we are using from a long time. Non-conventional are started newly introduced as a substitute. Conventional sources were exhaustible. They will be exhausted soon. They will not be renewed. That is why we uh, opted for non-conventional sources which are not exhaustible, which are non-exhaustible like sun, wind. They will never exhaust. Okay, so the examples of conventional sources were firewood, coal, petroleum and natural gas. And the newly introduced which are not exhaustible are solar energy, wind energy, biogas and tidal energy. So this is all we have discussed in detail and now we are having a comparative tabular form. In tabular form we have written. Now the second give reason is biogas and natural gas. Biogas, it is produced from the biodegradable waste, the waste of cow, the, uh, dead plants and animals. All this is biodegradable waste which is converted, decomposed and converted into a gaseous fuel that is biogas. And natural gas, it comes with the, when we are extracting petroleum, it comes with the crude oil. Okay, biogas is non-exhaustible and it is a very good quality non-polluting agent. And the natural gas, it is exhaustible source of energy, but it is also a good source of energy, but it will be exhausted. 
it cannot be renewed the third one is ferrous and non ferrous minerals ferrous is taken from the word iron the metals metallic minerals which contain iron are ferrous minerals like iron ore and manganese and the metallic minerals they are metallic but they are not having iron content in it are known as non ferrous minerals they are metal metallic like gold but iron is not there so they are known as non ferrous minerals examples are gold silver and copper now we can come to the last one that is metallic and non metallic again the name suggest the minerals containing metal are metallic minerals the minerals which do not contain metals are non metallic minerals okay as they are metallic metal is there so they are hard and they conduct heat and electricity non metallic minerals are soft and they cannot conduct heat and electricity okay and examples of metallic minerals are iron ore bauxite manganese they are having metal limestone mica and coal petroleum they are not having metal in it you can see that see and uh, what we found is they are soft also they are not like hard iron so this is about metallic and non metallic minerals so here we completed question answers distinguish between and give reasons these are the answers of the choose the correct answer which i have mentioned here apart from this what you have to do is all the diagrams whatever whichever diagrams i have explained in the videos tidal energy wind energy nuclear power plant biogas all these diagrams you have to prepare well so study all these things prepare notes god bless you hello everyone